So I just finished work and I'm ready to enjoy a quick sunset here in our office and I want to talk about a real subject that I'm really worried about, okay, and it's gonna be AI replacing front-end developers. Like, I've been coding with Cursor, I've been discovering a lot of stuff and I'm gonna talk to you about that. Anyways, let me show you the sunset right now because it's really impressive. So it is sunset time and I wanted to express something about vibe coding like I've been coding I'm not gonna call it vibe coding because I'm not actually vibe coding when I'm understanding what's happening in the code okay so I've been coding with cursor lately okay and what's happening is that whatever he's producing UI wise okay like pages he's producing without the backend integration is super fast super amazing and it's very scary because it's replacing front-end developers because me as a front-end developer, I used to get hired to do whatever he's doing right now. Like if I wanna develop a sponsor's us page for a business, okay? The business used to come to me as a front-end developer and pay me to develop that page. But right now what happened is that you can go to Cursor, tell him, yo, develop me a sponsor us page, and he's gonna do it in a matter of seconds, which is blowing up my mind because it's gonna replace a lot of developers out there. Like for me, I have my position, I have my seniority, I have everything. But when it comes to junior developers, how would they work? So to understand this risk, you have to look at it in a way that if you wanted to hire a team to do a website for you, would you hire that team right now if you had Cursor? Well, actually no, because hiring a front-end developer will cost you, I don't know, probably 3K a month if you wanna hire him on a project, okay? and cursor will cost you 20 bucks a month. Of course, as an entrepreneur or business holder, you're not gonna go and spend 3K for a front-end developer if your job could be done with AI or could be done with cursor. This is why this is super scary for front-end developers. But when it comes to back-end developers, it's not that critical compared to front-end. But now you're gonna tell me that Mike, this entrepreneur or this business holder will need a front-end developer because if he vibe codes his way through, He's gonna pull out a website that doesn't work, a website that's full of bugs and all that stuff, okay? Well, it is actually true for some kind of niches and some kind of websites that need backend. This is why I said that the risk is for the front-end developers because most of the businesses that want websites, they are usually like very simple, a landing page displaying some information and that's it. Like you could take an example, someone who has a restaurant that wants to build a landing page for his restaurant and that's it, no backend, just a menu, some kind of information here and there and that's it. It could be a doctor who wants to build a page for his clinic. It could be a coach, a basketball coach who wants to build a portfolio where he puts his coaching prices, all that stuff. Now you get this idea like when it comes to landing pages, it got somehow replaced or tried to be replaced with WordPress and Wix and all that stuff like these builders but these builders are very boring this is why uh, people used to hire developers to build more dynamic websites now even these dynamic websites are getting replaced by AI now let's go back to the point of an entrepreneur or a business holder that wants to hire a front-end developer and right now he's not gonna hire him anymore you see when you want to pull out the landing page it's not that hard to do it. And there's no critical bugs that could arise when you want to vibe code your way through. So that entrepreneur or that business holder, if he has time and he's willing to invest in himself, okay, he could just spend a weekend, learn how to use Cursor, learn how to write prompts, and he can pull out a website without any bugs. And he doesn't need to even understand the code because there's nothing to debug in it. It's just a landing page, some HTML, CSS, some layouts. If he doesn't like a layout or a section in his website, he can just tell to cursor, change that, or change that button from blue to green, or that card I want it to be in columns, not in rows, you see? So he doesn't need to know technically what's happening to build his landing page. And he can deploy very easily with Vercel, all right? With a couple of videos on YouTube, he can know how to do it, and that's it. So it is getting late right now and the sunset is getting better and you're gonna tell me in the comments down below if you think we're gonna be replaced with this new technology getting in 
or not okay i want to hear your thoughts out and of course don't forget to join us in the community down below so we can have a deeper chat you can see the link in the description down below let's help you find your treasure together and yeah hope we're safe